Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the StarCraft II Archipelago. Ra oh, whoa. Okay, well, I guess we're playing. I forgot that uh, this just, like, doesn't... It doesn't use the... Oh, gosh, what is it called? It doesn't use the click any button to continue. It just, like, goes when it's done loading. That's going to catch me off guard a couple times because I'm not used to it. Oh. So... For anyone who didn't see last episode, I'm going to do a little bit of a recap on what the Archipelago Randomizer is. It is a mission and unlock randomizer. So the way that it works is the missions that we go to are randomized and then the things that we unlock instead of using the armory or anything like that is unlocked through getting bonus objectives and completing the missions. Which means currently we have two things unlocked for combat units. We have the Wraith as our anti-air, and we have the Hellion as our anti-ground. The in-game mechanics still work like this, so we, you know, get these units for free. But as you can see, I don't have anything here. It's just darkness, unfortunately. So we're going to have to uh, start getting prepared for the long term. And every time we get the bonuses, we do get a new thing. So let's figure out what we got right here. We found displacement field. Okay, we got a Wraith upgrade. <laughs> we already have Blue Flame Hellions. Now, the one unit we're really hoping to grab at some point is the good old the Diamondback. Because we got, I think, both of the upgrades for that last time. And that'll be that'll be pretty nice, right? <laughs> uh, it's gonna be an adventure. Alright, so. Let's uh Lift this off, put it over here. I don't know why I put it where I did. Gotcha. And we'll get the Hellion production facility as well. This is going to be a bit of a weird one. Because Protoss is not really vulnerable to Hellions. Or Wraiths. <laughs> and so what you might not know about these Stone Zealots at the end is they have a ridiculously good anti air attack for whatever reason <laughs> i guess so you can't go like wraiths against it or not wraiths but vikings against it or something but it's definitely going to make wraith life a bad life <sighs> everything's alive it's real spooky not being able to make that medic oh she is doing poorly too she's got like no hp oh, i feel bad so she's going to die in the next one. Usually you can use the 50 gas you start with to pump out another medic here. Makes life so much more smooth, but we don't we don't have that going today. So. This is another mission where we're stuck on one base, which is a little bit subpar. It is also a mission where the Wraith, I think, is going to be worse than the Hellion. There have been a couple times in StarCraft's history where the Hellion has actually been viable against Protoss. You, like, get 40 of them and you can just run up to a Death Ball and blow it up with the AoE. So, that is worth considering. And the Wraith, on the other hand, it just it's going to get shredded by everything. Remember that the Wraith is armored for some reason, I'm pretty sure. Which means it is ex it acts like a light unit in terms of durability, but it's also super vulnerable to anti-armor attacks. I'm actually not sure about that. I'm gonna have to make one to check. I apologize. Like I'm, I'm really second guessing myself here. We're gonna blast this guy off, and then uh, we probably need a little bit more gas. Then I'm gonna. Oh, hello. Hey, blue flame hellions, helping out again. You know, they've been really useful. They're not as good as a unit, but they're okay. They're doing stuff. So we do have access to plus one vehicle weapons, which is why I got that armory. We don't have anything past that, but <laughs> plus one vehicle weapons is pretty nice. And yeah, Protoss has a ton of anti-armor capability. So having these light based Hellions will be good. Yeah, armored and mechanical for some reason. They have the durability of a light unit. They have no armor, but they are armored. I actually believe that they might be the only armored unit without armor in StarCraft. Uh, someone can tell me if I'm wrong on that one. But I think that every single armored quote-unquote unit in StarCraft besides the Wraith has at least one base armor. 
We're just going to run past and see if we can get to this bonus objective because it's going to cost us a lot more to actually fight. And, I mean, it's race cars, right? So we might as well race. Got it. Neo still bunker. Okay. All right. We don't have the bunker. <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, it's, it's one of those things that you just kind of are used to starting with, you know? <laughs> get a couple more SCVs out. We're going to get a second reactored factory, I think. I guess we want to be able to afford the reactor on the barracks as we're building up, because we're going to need a lot of SCVs, or rather, a lot of Hellions to do this. I'm considering... I'm considering running past. Hmm. So this can take this down. Oh. This can pull these guys. Good enough. <laughs> Blue flame that nerd. And then get on top of this. Deal as much line damage as possible. Pull these guys off. Oh, that's not good. Pull back, pull back. I didn't really think... I guess this is what the Wraith is for. I will keep some Wraiths in production because they are my only anti-air. We have no turrets. Ooh. This is not a pretty video game. <laughs> Come on! You can do it! <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, man. Truly the worst of the units. So what was I planning on doing? Oh, yeah. At least putting this to some use. Yeah, Mr. Wraithy is going to go over here. And he should be able to... Oh, there's a cannon right there as well. Take down this, and then he can come over here and take down this. This will be unpowered. And then we can try to snipe the Templar with a couple Hellions. They don't really have range, but... Well, I don't know, we'll figure it out later. <laughs> I probably need, like, three Wraiths to actually kill these Pylons before the game ends. Because the Zerg is, uh, doing well. Better than I am. Uh, I'm very concerned about this run pass strategy, but I can't imagine that fighting the Protoss will go well. I'll try it. Mm. Well, let's start moving forward with these. You're gonna have a hard time roasting. Or, not being roasted. Zealot's not exactly the counter to Hellions. You know what? We can probably fight it. I believe. We're going to get one more Wraith for anti-air, and then I think it's off-gas time. I don't know why there's a Marauder chilling out over there near the Merc compound. All he wanted to be when he grew up was a mercenary. Alright, the one Muta. I mean, it's not like they send a lot of air on this mission. There we go, we can take these down. Oh, you're doing it. You're doing it, Wraithy. <laughs> Imagine if you were any other unit, you would have done it a long time ago, but you know what? We gotta take what we get. Man, I'm excited to unlock anything. I wonder if we can. Like right there. Perfect. Wait a moment. You couldn't hit it the first time. There we go. And then we'll bring two of these forward. And go roasty toasty. Get toasted. I think there's a couple ships over here that need to be dealt with. I'm My supply is going up really fast. And it's not being filled with good units. Unfortunately. Uh, where are these... This Wraith is here. We can get you guys on a control group. 
And I kind of just want to wait until the Zerg attack me one more time before I do anything super dangerous, and then we're going to commit really hard to the push and try to win. I just don't know when that next Zerg attack is. There aren't any more Templar in this mission, right? Oh, goodness. I don't know the answer to that, and I'm a little bit afraid to learn. All right, here we go. The greatest Zerg attack wave of all time. I definitely needed to keep the 37 Hellions there to defend that. Base is under attack. Oh. Hello. Cloak, take care of that. Let's go. Base is under attack. Take it out. Give me something good. Progressive vehicle. Oh yeah, plus two vehicle weapons, baby. <laughs> Wait, we're wraiths. <laughs> Let's put these guys onto gas so we can get that plus two vehicle attack for the final fight. Oh, raids are so... It's just They're depressing. They actually make me sad when I use them. Uh, okay, everything up here. And then we gotta actually bring the raids over to help with this Void Ray. And I guess some high ground spotting would be nice as well. Okay, everyone's in position. Let's go. Cloak him. Yeah, the Void Ray does extra damage. Why not? And then we can just sit right here for that vision. Try pulling things back. Get them all nice and clumped. Take down the sentries. And let's get that <laughs> plus two attack. Oh gosh, this is going exactly as well as it seems like it should. Oh no. I'll burn the photon cannons down and then start taking out the pylons. The Zerg is doing pretty decent, unfortunately. Here, take that down. And then we can run on over here and grab the last bonus objective which is going to be progressive infantry weapon okay we have no infantry but we do have the ability to get plus one attack which i believe means that we have the engineering bay now yes we can build the engineering bay uh that is honestly being able to build the engineering bay is better than having plus one attack all right you guys come help I, I, I can't do much about that right now. Thank you. Burn it. Uh. I guess I'll bring the raid. You know what? What if I bring everything? Because they can repair. And I don't have much time anyway. The Zerg are winning. Then the raids will have the anti, uh, anti air damage because these are Colossus that we're fighting. Sentries are gone, so we can move in, take these down, get everybody over here. Don't build any more; just save up. And do we have time to wait for? Yeah, I think we have time to wait for that plus two attack. It's going to be twenty-ish seconds from now. The Zerg have won the fight. Hopefully another wave of Protoss come out of these gateways in order to save us. Not save us, but, you know, buy us a little bit more time. In. Come on, give me that upgrade complete. Upgrade complete. Oh, yeah, let's go. Roger. We're going to burn this one down first. Actually, SCVs go over here. You guys burn it. Oh, my gosh, they use their anti-ground attack, even though it's... I guess they don't act as Air Colossus, huh? I just, I assumed because they have laser beams out of their faces. Oh, this was a close one. How you doing, Taldrim? Not bad. <laughs> and we got ship armor for winning. Nice. 
Okay, so we can get armor for our raids. We can get plus two attack for our Helliums. And I can now tell you guys the next two missions that you guys in chat get to vote for which one we go to. Shall we go to either Zero Hour or Outbreak? Those are the two that are coming up. So uh, put your votes in and... Whoa, the game just closed. It didn't even go to a score screen. All right. <laughs> this mod does whatever it wants. I have no control. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. Put your votes in for either Zero Hour or Outbreak. Say in the comments which one you think would be better. And we will go there. So thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.